Seven months. Tigray has been under siege. And this isn't your usual siege where government blocks all roads coming in and out of a particular city or state. No, this is the most comprehensive siege of the 21st century. Everything has been blocked. Food, commercial goods, urgently needed aid, medical supplies. Really? If you can name it. The Ethiopian government has blocked it. And also banks. The Ethiopian government has blocked banks in Tigray from accessing their customers' information. So yes, Tigrayans are deliberately being denied access to their savings. And also, hospitals and pharmacies are running out of all medical supplies. Hospitals don't have insulin, anesthetics, antibiotics, glucose. They don't even have oxygen. Also, there's no fuel in Tigray. Not for ambulances. Not for aid tracks attempting to distribute food to the five million people in need. Not even for hospitals to run their generators with. The Ethiopian government has repeatedly attacked the Tekaz hydroelectric dam. The only source of power supply in Tigray. Using drones given to it by the United Arab Emirates. Iran and Turkey. But imagine all this is happening and you can't tell anyone about it. Imagine not being able to hear voice of your friends and family members. Imagine you're not able to reach out to the people you love and care for. It's important to remember that everything you've heard about Tigray has been despite a communication blackout that has lasted as long as the deadly conflict. The videos of massacres, the stories of sexual violence, the cases of malnutrition, everything has been while under a complete communications blackout. A complete blackout. No internet. No cell services. No landlines. Nothing. There's absolutely no way for you to communicate with someone in Tigray. So you must be asking yourself how there is still a television station running from Tigray. How are we still here? We have no salary. Transportation is non-existent. Airstrikes are almost daily occurrences. And life overall is unimaginably difficult. But we still manage to make it to work. And that's because we believe that if you knew our story, you'd care to act. We here at Tigray Television want to bring the stories of ordinary Tigrayans to you. We want you to learn about what's been unfolding in darkness. And we want to help you imagine what life is like under siege. And we're doing this despite all the obstacles because we trust you care about humanity, about the struggles of people you've probably never met, about us, and the millions more in dire need of humanitarian assistance. But also because we never want to hear you say, you didn't know. Thank you.